Welcome, friend, to Edgar Allan Poe's murder mystery invite-only casual dinner party slash gala for friends potluck. So who do you think did it? Very mysterious having vials of poison lying around. <gasps> oh, it's an elevator. I think it's Ravens? You knew Dead Eddie, too? This is an IOU to Eduardo Dante's. Soup is pretty good. My family hired a really good psychic named Krishanti, and she brought me back. Guys, we really need to get a handle on this situation. Edgar, now will you hire a cleaning lady? This blood is never gonna come out of the carpet. In case anyone cares to remember, I was against splitting up. Unlike some people. I came as soon as I heard. We, we all, all did. did. What is that? Oh. I believe I discovered the Ravenry. Found my way out through a vent. This has been a terrible night. According to the evidence at hand, and based on the hypothesis that no one else is in the house other than the guests invited to Edgar's dinner party, you, Charlotte, are the primary suspect in this particular murder. <laughs> what? Culpability is evident by your sole witnessing of the crime and your geographic location in relation to the crime scene. <laughs> Charlotte, no one is accusing you. No, I am. I definitely am. But could you please tell us what happened? It was dark, so I walked across the room to turn on a lamp. I heard a horrible sound. Once I managed to get the light on, I saw Dostoevsky on the ground like this. And then I suppose I screamed. Agatha Christie will be here soon. She'll hopefully be able to figure all of this out. I think I may have already done just that. <sighs> Friends, although it's likely our comrade here wasn't poisoned, it seems that our host has a significant amount of the stuff upstairs! That wasn't mine. And this Ooh. man is a liar who is in debt to Eddie for losing a sports bet. And he hates going to Spain. What? Strong words for a poison, Baron. Perhaps you have another vault filled with the stuff in addition to that fabulous wine? I hope I still get to pre-order his Tales from a Moscow Prison short story anthology. Ugh. I read the galley. It's a real hatchet job, huh? Oh, Oscar, you're looking awfully suspect. Take it easy with all the jokes. You think this is easy? <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? Sorry, I... I forgot about him and then I looked over there. Can someone take this wire and tie her up? We should probably get this body out of here. Gentlemen? Great. No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's rest day. Probably shouldn't work the old muscles too much. To the vault, all right? Honestly, why would I kill him when I was the only one with him? It's far too incriminating. I don't know. Maybe he made a... Snide remark about your dress. I, however, think it's lovely. Where'd you get it? In case I want to buy one for my lady friend, who I am courting successfully. Oh, I think I might pass out from all the blood. Oh, hang on, dear. You're just a little flush. Thank you, Miss Lee. I am truly sorry for your loss tonight. Thank you. And Mr. Wilde, why aren't you more concerned? People are dying around you. You could be next. Is that a threat, Miss Bronte? You know, I lived across from a plot of land Mr. Eddie owned. He was to build a branch of his bank there. I fear I was so distraught over the people and noise it would attract, I wrote him several strongly worded poems begging him to reconsider. But I am sorry this Ugh, happened. Ladies, I'm sorry. But this is my most foppish shirt. 
and I must attend to it immediately in the bathroom. <laughs> Luckily, I always have a change of clothes for every occasion. <laughs> you never know where you're going to end up in the morning. Mm? <laughs> Why? I could stand to use the little boy's room and take off some of this bird poo. I'll show you to the washroom. Lenore, Emily, watch Miss Bronte. So, who does your hair? He only works with ectoplasm. I can't even with you. You're gonna have a trove of celebrated authors down here soon if we don't nab the culprit. Oscar? You need this more than I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, please. Ladies first. <laughs> I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about, but thank you. Very kind of you. Oh, that must be the great Miss Agatha Christie. Ugh, finally. Miss Agatha Christie, we are indeed pr George Marianne. Marianne. What's going on? Where's Annabelle? And she went to find you. Oh. There you are. What's happening? I have something important to say. Yes? Who did this to you? You may not believe it, but I, George Elliot, am a woman. Yes, dear. We knew that already, but who? <sighs> Wait. Where's Ernest? <laughs> Not here. Guess Charlotte can't be the murderer. She was with us the whole time. Thank you. Her only crime was being totally basic. I did it. <gasps> you did? Yes. I brought knives for everyone, for protection. No, in protecting us, you will also be giving the murderer a knife. All right, I think the murderer is doing all right. You disappear while two people are murdered, and then reappear with instruments of death? Mm? Well, I was in the kitchen, where the knives live. How am I still tied up? Ugh, fine. Careful. Watch yourself. Have you done this before? Is this arousing or what? No, what's... Oh, God. She was stabbed. If I, if I may offer a, a, a suggestion? Please. Excuse me, pardon, sorry. This is, um, this is very unlike me, but you were saying something about your family hiring a psychic to conjure the ghost of the dead? Mm-hmm, Krishant. Well, we have a lot of dead people in this house. I'm sure at least one of them saw whomever killed them. <gasps> is the good professor suggesting we have a seance? There may be a killer out there. Irma, please stay put. 